Okay, welcome everybody. My name is Mr. Vernoy here with Cornerstone Martial Arts. Today is the first of our beginner karate videos. We'll be posting these every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night up on our Facebook page. That way you guys can enjoy and follow along with us. This video is designed for kids age four to about 12. But if you're a little bit younger, a little bit older, and you want to join in, that's cool too. We do have a teen and adult version of the class, which you can be put up next. Um, if you guys prefer to do that one, either one is perfectly fine. Now, this class is a beginner class. That means everybody is welcome. If you've already done a little bit of karate, you know some basics, you should be able to jump in just fine. If you've never done any kind of karate, that's fine too. You can jump in, have some fun with us, and hopefully learn something new and stay moving all at the same time. Now, first of all, make sure you have a little bit of space around you wherever you're doing this workout. That way you're not gonna hit anything, right? This is designed so that we can do everything mostly in place. So if you only have a little bit of space, that's okay, but just be aware of your surroundings. I don't wanna hear that anybody's been kicking stuff off the shelf doing karate with me, okay? Now, like I said, my name is Mr. Vernoy. We do Tung Sudo Karate in this style. It's a, it's a Korean style. If you do some other kind of karate and you want to learn some basics of what we do, that's fine too. Like I said, everybody is welcome, okay? Now, obviously, these videos online are great to get you guys working out and moving, especially when you're stuck at home. But I highly encourage you guys to get out and train at a studio, if possible, where you are, or at least look up different studios around your location so that when you're allowed to go out into the world, you can get some real training one-on-one -on -one with an instructor. Okay? It's not quite the same doing it uh, in your living room. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna start with a basic, uh, few basic commands. First of all is our attention position. When the instructor says chiriya, that means we put our feet together and our hands by our side, just like that. The next one is kanyet. Kanyet means to bow. Bow is how we start and end every class to say thank you. It's how we show respect in the karate class, okay? Again, chiriya means attention and kanyet means bow. That's how we show our respect. One second, looks like we have a question in the comments here. Okay, we are good to go. So again, chiriya means attention position, and kanyet means bow. That's how we open up every one of our classes. We're gonna start with some quick warm-up exercises. First of all, it's our jumping jacks. For every jumping jack, we clap the top and slap at the bottom. Again, clap the top and slap the bottom. We are going to do 20 jumping jacks. Ready, set, go. Hana, to, set, bet. Good, down for push-ups. Now, when we do push-ups, a lot of people tell me, Mr. Benoit, I can't do push-ups. Yes, you can. You might have to make a few adjustments depending on your situation, depending on how many you've done before, but I promise you, you can do push-ups. So, proper push-ups. Our body is flat as we can make it. Our arms are underneath our shoulders. We're gonna bend our elbows as far as we can. If that's only a little bit, that's okay. If you can bend all the way without touching the floor, that's even better. But just do your best. Again, a little bit is fine, all the way is fine. Do your best for five super awesome push-ups. Go. On up. Very good. When you're done, have a seat. Legs crossed, hands your knees. Next up is sit-ups. So sit-ups, we're going all the way down, coming all the way up, and slapping the ground in front of us. Let's do 10 sit-ups. Go. Hanap. Toll. Set. Net. Toss it. Very good. When you're done, stand up tall attention. Remember, show up is our attention position. Good. All right, let's get started with some of our basic karate skills. I want everyone to wave this hand over here, say hi, Mr. Renoy. Tap that perk and put it back behind you. We're going to have one foot in back, one foot in front. Then pick your hands up. Let's make our karate fist. First things first, fingers come in, thumbs tuck in on the outside, and then we're gonna put our hands up where we can see them just like so. This is what we call our fighting stance. So if we need to defend ourselves, this is the stance we make. 
our hands up, that way we're protected and we can punch quickly. I have one foot back, that way I'm a little bit stable and it's gonna be easy to throw our kicking skills later on, okay? Again, here we go. Put one foot back, hands up, fighting stance. Good, let's start with some basic punching skills. I want everyone to take your front hand and put it out in front. Now take your other hand and put it out. One hand and the other. 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 Stop. Good, hands up. So these are basic punches. Now, there's a lot that goes into even our basic skills in the karate class. When we're doing our punches, it's very important that we punch with the correct part of our hand. Our hands are not actually very good at punching things. Even if you train in karate, you punch stuff all day, your hands still can only punch if you do it correctly. If you hit your target even a little bit wrong, you can end up hurting your hand. So when we do these punching skills, try and use your big two knuckles, okay? So see if you can find on your own hand. You've got four knuckles up at the top. We wanna hit with the big two, your index finger and your middle finger, knuckles, not the fingers, but the knuckles up here at the top, okay? Let's try those punches again, make sure you're extending with those big two knuckles. One hand and the other. 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 Good, relax. Okay, now for the fun part. This is the part where we get to yell. In the karate class, every time we do a punch, every time we do a kick, every time we do a block, we yell. There's a reason we yell. We yell for more power. Every time we yell, it tightens our muscles and lets us do more damage with our techniques. So when you do your technique, you gotta yell. Now, if you're in a situation right now where you can't really yell, maybe somebody's busy in the other room, somebody's sleeping, somebody's napping, whatever, you can't yell, that's okay. Just breathe instead. If you can yell, I encourage you to, because number one, it makes you stronger. Number two, it kind of gets you in the right mindset for karate skills. And number three, it's kind of fun to yell, okay? Now, I know some of you guys might be alone in your living room just kind of screaming at nothing. Don't worry, I know it's kind of weird. Guess what I'm doing all day today? Screaming in front of a camera by myself in the living room, okay? So, we're gonna yell, Tia and Tua. Again, Tia and Tua. Let's try it, ready? Tia. Other hand, Tua. Good, put them back up. Now, I say go, you do both. You're gonna yell Tia and Tua. Ready? Go, Tia, Tua. Go, Tia, Tua. Go, Tia, Tua. Tia, two. One more. Go. Tia, two. Good. Now make sure when you're doing this, you're always punching with your front hand first and your back hand second. Well, Mr. Benoit, which one's my front hand? I'll give you a hint. Look down your feet. Whichever one's in front, that's your front foot. Take that matching hand. That's your front hand. Easy peasy. All right, let's keep going. Go. Tia, two. Go. Tia, two. Go. Tia, two. Go. Tia, two. One more. Go. Tia, two. Good job. Now we get to add on my favorite part, we get to start kicking. We're gonna do what we call the front kick. First, you're gonna get your knee up high to aim your kick. The higher you can get your knee, the better. Again, let's practice just the knee. I'm gonna pick one knee up high and back down. One more time, knee up high and back down. Now we add on the kick. After my knee, then comes my foot. I snap and kick and pull it all the way back. We are aiming to kick with the ball of our foot. That's this part right up here, okay? Not the heel, way down at the bottom. We'll see if I can do this on camera so you guys can see. Not the heel, you wanna slide up a little bit, kick with the ball right up here underneath that toes, okay? Let's try the front kick. We're gonna use the leg in back. Front kick, yell, yeah, and put it back. Now the same foot gets to kick again. Front kick, two, and put it back. Same foot, two. Yeah. Tua. One more kick, super strong. We yell, Asa! Very nice. Now take your feet and switch them. Now the other foot gets a turn to kick. Remember, we're kicking from the back. Front kick, yell, Tia. Front kick, Tua. Tia. Tua. Last one strong, we yell, Asa! Very good. Switch your feet. Now we get to put these skills together to make a combination. Not a McDonald's kind of combination. No cheeseburgers, no french fries. We're doing punch, punch, and kick. Tia, Tua, and Asa. 
punching with the front hand, punching with the back hand, and kicking with the back foot. Ready? With me. Tia. Tua. Asa. Very good. Now I say go, you do all three. Tia, Tua, Asa. Ready? Go. Again, go. Tia, Tua, Asa. Go. Tia, Tua, Asa. Go. Tia, Tua, Asa. Last one. Go. Tia, Tua, Asa. Very good. Switch your feet. Now we're doing the other side. So the other hand punches first, other hand punches second, and then kick with the back foot. Ready? Tia. Tua. Asa. Good. All three. Go. Tia. Tua. Asa. Go. Tia. Tua. Asa. Don't forget to yell. Remember, you can get loud. Ready? Go. Tia. Tua. Asa. Go. Tia. Tua. Asa. Last one. Go. Tia. Tua. Asa. Good. Switch your feet. Well done. Now, you guys have been going to see me do the techniques. Now, here on Zoom with me, I have a few other beginner students who are training with the karate skills today and are doing the skills with us. I'm going to have you guys on Zoom practice the same skill. Tia, Tua, Asa. Put it back. Tia, Tua, Asa. Put it back. Just pick your favorite side. And I'm going to switch over the camera so that everybody watching this video later can see you guys demonstrate. So get yourself set up in the fighting stance. When I say go for 30 seconds, you're just going to do Tia, Tua, Asa, over and over. You guys watching this recorded version, practice on your own. Tia, Tua, Asa for 30 seconds. Here we go. On your marks, get set, and go. That's it. Good job. One, two, three. Tia Tua Asa. Tia Tua Asa. Keep going. Now try and bring those knees up a little bit higher. Get that kick high. Nicely done, Heidi. Five, four, three, two, one. And time. Well done, everybody. Okay. So we learned some basic punching and kicking skills. Now we're going to learn how to block. Now a lot of our blocks are more traditional blocks and focus on big motions opposed to smaller motions. When we do our fighting stance, we have our hands up. Why are you blocking just by putting our hands up? That's a small motion. For these next blocks, we're gonna do big motions. But first, we need a new stance. We did our attention stance. We did our fighting stance. Now we're gonna use the horseback fighting stance. I want everyone to spread your feet out about double shoulder width apart. Now sit down and bend your knees like you're sitting on a short back horse. That's what we call the horseback fighting stance. Now, this might be a challenge. When you bend your knees, your legs are working hard to maintain this position. So let's talk about good hurt. Good hurt is when your muscles are working hard and they start to feel that little bit of a hurt. That kind of hurt means you're getting stronger means your techniques are getting better. If there's a sharp pain, like somebody kicked you in the leg, ow, that's no good, you wanna avoid that. But if you get this dull, slow pain, that probably just means your legs are working hard and it means you're getting stronger. However, if you get that dull pain and you go, you know what, that's not, I give up. Then you're not getting stronger. So you gotta keep those knees bent, even when it starts to hurt just a little bit. It's gonna be a challenge, we're gonna see if we can do it, okay? So shake out your legs real fast, build up your energy, and sit down in your horseback riding stance. Good, wave this hand over here. Say, hi, Mr. Benoit. Remember that this means scary guy. Make your karate fist, fingers in, thumb on the outside, and bring it down to your belly button. The first block we're doing is called Sengen Maki, or high block. Take that hand on your belly button and bring it all the way up above your head. Again, back down and up. Back down and up. Down, up, down, up. So it's almost like half of a roof above our head. This would be a whole roof, half roof. Whole roof, half roof. Whole roof, hole in the roof. That's no good. Don't leave holes on your roof. So this is our high block, half of a roof above our head. Good, this time we're gonna use the other hand down here. Make your clay fast, fist, bring it across your butt, belly, and I'm gonna block up fast. 
Chip. Good. Now the other hand. Bring it across to your belly button. Lock up. That's two up. Now you might notice this hand back here has a job too. It's still in the karate fist and it's tucking back all the way here next to our sock. One hand blocking, other hand is tucked in. We call this our chamber. It's getting ready to block. Ready across. Black Max. Other hand across. Block two up. Good. I'm going to mute you guys on Zoom. That way this doesn't end up on the call too. If you have a question, let me know later. All right, ready? High block, yell, yeah. Other hand, two up. Bring it across, yeah. Across, two up. One more, asa. Very good. All right, next block is our low block. Bring both hands down here and pick one up to your shoulder. This hand is the hand that's blocking. It's going to slide down and extend in front of our body. At the same time, the other hand tucks in nice and tight, ready to the next block. This block is called the Haranaki, or the low block. Again, we're going to cross and block down. Good, just like that. Hey, Daniel, I'm going to keep you guys muted for now during the video. If you have a question, you can ask later, okay? Ready? One hand across and block two. Other hand across, block two up. Across, two up. Other side, two up. And one more low block. Yo, asa! Very good. Remember, one hand's blocking, the other hand's tucked in tight. Next block is our inside to outside block. So we did the high block, we did the low block, now it's our inside outside block. Bring your hands together and make an X. Good. Now take one hand and bring it across your face, extend it out in front of you like you're making a big muscle. Say, grr! Let me see that muscle. Now, watch when you're making this muscle that you don't bring it too close to your body. Then I can't see that big muscle of yours. Keep it out in front of your body. So I can see that big muscle. Good. Now we make an X and block on the other side. Again, make an X. Make a muscle. Make an X. Make a muscle. Make an X. Make a muscle. Good. Now we block fast. Yell, Gee! Other side, two up. Yeah. Two up. One more. Asa. Good. Well, after making nice and strong, make that big muscle. And bado. Show that position. Good. Shop. That means relax for just a second. Shake out your legs. Give them a rest. So you guys are doing an awesome job with these blocks. Let's talk a little bit about these different blocks because they all have different purposes. Then we're going to review them all, and finally we'll move on to finish with a game today because Mr. Panoy likes to have fun sometimes. So the first block we worked is our high block. When we do the high block, it comes up above our head. That way, anything coming towards our face gets knocked up out of the way when we do the high block. At the same time, we're protected from anything coming straight down on top of our head. So our high block is used to protect our head. Next of all was our low block. When we do the low block, it comes across our belly. So if anything is coming towards our belly, it gets knocked away. Secondly, it's ending up on the side of our leg right here. So if anybody tries to kick us in the leg, we can use the low block to defend that way as well. And the last block was the inside to outside block. This one is also going across our face. So if anything's in front of our face, we knock it away with the inside outside block. Plus, it's protecting the side of our head here. So three different blocks for three different situations. Obviously, as we get more advanced, we have all different blocks we use in the cry class. We're going to start with those three, OK? Let's do these again. Everyone show up. Spread your legs, bend your knees, make a good horseback riding stance. First one is our high block. Ready? Tuck your hands in. Bring one hand across. We're going to do 10 high blocks in a row. I'm going to count. And I'm going to change the camera so you guys can see the kids practicing as well. Ready? High block. Hana. Other side. Toll. Set. Net. Tasse. Yasse. Ugo. Yodo. Aho. Yo. Good. Next one is a low block. Bring your hand over your shoulder. Low block. Hana. I know your legs are tired. Keep working hard. Other side. Toll. 
set, neck, toss it, yas it, ugo, yudo, aho, yo. Good, last block is out, inside to outside block, make that X, hana, to, set, neck, toss it, yas it, ugo, yudo, Aho, last one, big yell, yo, and show you position, shot. that means relax. Well done, everybody. Give yourselves a round of applause. You guys are looking awesome with those blocking skills. So in karate, we do a lot of repetitive motions. We do the same blocks over and over and over and over. And there's a reason for that. When we practice things, we get better at them. I'm sure you guys have heard the phrase, Practice makes perfect. Now, I'm not a fan of that phrase. My instructor, Master May Broda, taught me a better phrase. I like this one a lot better, at least. Instead of practice making perfect, because practice doesn't really make perfect. I've been practicing karate a long, long time, about 17, 18 years now. But I'm not nearly perfect. I'm still making my techniques better. I'm still learning new techniques, so I can't be perfect. Even something you guys do all day, every day, like walking around. Who's ever stubbed their toe on something? who's ever tripped and stumbled. Even something you guys do all day, every day, like walking, you're still not perfect at. However, something you practice enough does become permanent. So the phrase I like to use is practice makes permanent. The more you practice something, the more permanent it becomes and the less you have to think about it. That's our goal with these karate skills. Because if you get attacked and have to use these skills to defend yourself, you're not gonna have time to think about it. Hmm, let's see here. Mr. Vinoy said to bring one hand across my belly and then up in front of my face. Oh, wait, I got to tuck this hand in. I should probably bend my knees more. Did I yell? Hold up. Let me try that again. Tia. No, you don't have time for that. In a real fight, you get a little block, punch, and kick without thinking about it right away. If you're too slow, you might get hurt. So we practice these skills over and over and over again until they become permanent. That way you don't have to think about it. You guys have to think about walking down the street. Do you tell your legs how to move? Left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. Or does it happen automatically? We want that automatic response for our karate skills, just like we have for the other things we practice all day, every day. That's our goal with practice, to make things permanent. So we do these skills over and over today, and next time you come back for these karate classes, we do some of the same skills, sometimes in a different way, or sometimes variation on the skills, but we do the same skills to make you better and better and better at them. And of course, we have fun and do different games with them along the way as well, okay? So today, we did a few different skills. We did punching, kicking, and three different kinds of blocks. High block, low block, inside, outside block. Now I wanna to finish today with a little bit of a game. This game is called Mr. Vernoy Sets. Now, my name is Mr. Vernoy. So this game is gonna be just like Simon says, but I get to replace Simon. So every time Mr. Vinoy says to do something, Mr. Vinoy says, chill up, you have to do it right away. If I say, do a jumping jack, without saying Mr. Vinoy says, you do not do the jumping jack. Only do it when I say Mr. Vinoy says. Does that make sense? Okay, so let's try and follow along. I'm gonna do a few rounds of this to review our karate skills, but also make sure we're practicing our listening skills, make sure we're paying attention at all times, ready for whatever command. Okay, remember, only do it if I say Mr. Vernoy says. Mr. Vernoy says, chill it. Mr. Vernoy says, Kanye. Mr. Vernoy says, fighting stance. Mr. Vernoy says, chill it. Fighting stance. Oh, I didn't say it that time. Did I get anybody? Mr. Vernoy says, chill it. Mr. Vernoy says, horseback riding stance. Bend those knees. Attention. Mm, you guys are getting pretty good at this. Mr. Benoit says, attention. Mr. Benoit says, two jumping jacks. Three jumping jacks. Oh, got some of you. Mr. Benoit says, fighting stance. Mr. Benoit says, switch feet. Show ya. Mr. Benoit says, horseback fighting stance. Mr. Benoit says, show ya. Mr. Vinoy says, fighting stance. Switch feet. 
Oh. Switch feet. Double switch. Triple switch. Quadruple switch. Mr. Bruno says switch feet. Mr. Bruno says chug out. Mr. Bruno says horseback landing stance. Fighting stance. Mr. Bruno says chug out. Mr. Bruno says tanya. Well done. So next round, now I'm going to add in some techniques as well. So we might have our punching, kicking, or blocking skills along with the different positions we stand. Get ready. Mr. Vinoy says, chubby up. Mr. Vinoy says, fighting stance. Five punches, go. Mr. Vinoy says, foot kick. Mr. Vinoy says, front kick. Mr. Vinoy says, switch feet. Mr. Vinoy says, front kick. Punch, punch. Punch, punch. Mr. Vinoy says, front kick. Mr. Vinoy says, chubby up. Mr. Vinoy says two jumping jacks. Mr. Vinoy says one push up. Mr. Vinoy says cheer up. See if you guys can keep up. Mr. Vinoy says horseback riding stance. Mr. Vinoy says high block. Mr. Vinoy says high block. Kick. Oh, didn't say Mr. Vinoy says that time. Mr. Vinoy says high block. Mr. Vinoy says high block. Mr. Miller says low block. Mr. Miller says low block. 10 push ups. Just kidding. Mr. Miller says inside outside block. 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 Mr. Miller says chill up. Mr. Miller says fighting stance. Mr. Miller says punch, punch, kick. Mr. Moore says punch, punch, kick. This time, punch, punch, kick, kick. Mm, some of you guys are paying attention. Mr. Moore says punch, punch, kick. Mr. Moore says chubby up. Mr. Moore says can ya? Okay, well done everybody. Last round of Mr. Moore says. This time is the lightning round. Let's see who can follow along. Mr. Moore says chubby up. Mr. Moore says can ya? Mr. Moore says fighting stance. Mr. Bruno says 10 punches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Kick. Oh, got some of you. Mr. Bruno says switch feet. Mr. Bruno says 10 punches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mr. Bruno says kick. Mr. Bruno says kick. Mr. Bruno says switch. Mr. Bruno says kick. Mr. Bruno says switch. Mr. Bruno says kick. Double punch. Five more punches. Mr. Bruno says switch. Mr. Moore says punch, punch, kick. Mr. Moore says punch, punch, kick. Chew ya. Oh, didn't say Mr. Moore says. Mr. Moore says chew ya. Mr. Moore says horseback riding stance. Mr. Moore says high block. Mr. Moore says high block. Mr. Moore says low block. Mr. Moore says low block. Inside to block. Inside to block. Inside to block. Mr. Moore says low block. Mr. Moore says high block. Mr. Bruno says high block. Mr. Bruno says inside to block. Mr. Bruno says inside to block. Mr. Bruno says low block. Mr. Bruno says low block. Mr. Bruno says high block. <sighs> Mr. Bruno says high block. Mr. Bruno says inside to block. Mr. Bruno says chubby up. Mr. Bruno says fighting stance. Mr. Bruno says five kicks. One, two, three, four, five. Mr. Bruno says switch. Mr. Bruno says five kicks. One, two, three, four, five. Mr. Bruno says chubby up. Mr. Bruno says 10 jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. Mr. Bruno says chill ya. Mr. Bruno says can ya. High fives, well done. Just kidding, I didn't say Mr. Bruno says. Okay, well done, game is over. Everyone chill ya, can ya? Good, have a seat and relax for just a second. Let's turn this down so we can see. Okay. Everyone deep breath. Who's tired? Guess what? That means you've been working hard. Everyone put your legs out to the side. One this way, one that way. Reach up to the ceiling. 
and reach down to your left side. Deep breath in. Breathe out and reach a little bit farther. You're trying to grab onto something. So either grab onto your leg, grab onto your toes, grab onto your foot, but no bending your leg. We call that cheating. You gotta keep it straight. Switch, other side. Grab and hold. Don't let go. If you feel that good kind of hurt in your leg, then that means you're getting stronger. Deep breath in. Breathe out, reach a little bit farther. Relax. Spread your legs out even farther. Reach up and reach down in the middle. Remember, legs straight. Don't let those knees pop up. Deep breath in. Breathe out, reach a little bit farther. And relax. Have a seat. Well done, everybody. You guys survived our first class with Mr. Benoit. You guys sweating? I'm sweating a little bit. It's hot in here. So excellent job today. We are going to continue to post these videos up on Facebook every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That way you guys continue getting your workout in. For the adults and teenagers, we're also putting out videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for beginner classes. Oh, hey, maybe, we have some, maybe we'll have some cat classes later too. Mr. Lou here will be teaching. So kids classes and adult, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, up on Facebook. We're also doing karate fitness classes, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. The fitness classes are gonna be doing a lot of the same skills we just did today, mixed in with a bunch of exercises to work your body a little bit, but with less explanation. So if you come to these classes first, and then do the fitness classes the next day, you should be good. Because again, we're not explaining a whole lot in the fitness classes, that's what these classes are for. Fitness classes are also a little bit longer than these classes. So for younger kids, they might be a bit of a challenge, but if you want to do it with mom and dad and do what you can, I think that would be fantastic. I love to see families all working out, all doing karate together, okay? Thanks for coming out today, and stay tuned for more videos. Let's finish up like we finish every class. Should we That means attention. Can yet? That means bow. Put your right hand up in the air. I say one, two, three, and then we all punch in the air and yell Tung Su. One, two, three, Tung Su. Class dismissed. Well done, everybody. If you have any questions about anything we did today, feel free to message me up on Facebook. You can message Cornerstone Martial Arts on Facebook, and I'll see it that way too. Keep training. I'll see you next time.